What's up, everyone? I'm John Laird from 101X Homegrown, and today I'm with Bobby from Candy Riot, formerly AI. For anyone that had been following along in the show for a while, Candy Riot at one point was known as AI, the most uh, impossible to Google band name. I'm, I'm glad you changed it. <laughs> um, but we've got a show coming up Feb 17th at the Parish. It's Candy Riot's uh, album release party. Nico Loretto, name of the new album. Also a great bill, Sex Pop and Dream to Dream on that bill. Um, Bobby, let's talk about the new album. I feel like you've been kind of priming this for a bit. There was a bunch of singles last year. I don't know what, four or five singles, I would say, something somewhere in there. I think, yeah, we started writing it uh, about 12 months ago and um, wanted to have a fictional concept. Um, call it just getting bored about writing uh, about myself or autobiographical tunes. So thought I'd throw a little curveball in there and have some new challenges, something fun to write about. And, um, you know, the, the biggest fear was like, yeah, if you're writing about fiction, can you still connect the emotion, right? And and I think we did that and we're really excited about it. And my, my bandmates, Holly Holt and Phil Moody, neither could be here today, but played a huge part in shaping the whole thing. And so uh, we're really excited. But yeah, I think we've dropped um, probably six or seven singles. And then the album hit online distribution last night. So it'll be coming out officially on February the 16th. So we're excited to have it out. There will be a few tunes that have not been released yet on the album. Um, but it seems like releasing a bunch of singles off an album is the way to do it these days. At least that's what we're doing. <laughs> I like to because it's uh I feel like in a lot of ways it's sort of it sort of matched the trajectory for the band as well. You know, there was sort of the early days, the AI days, as you guys were kind of finding your way. Um, you know, even the sound and the live show, like now you have a lot of dancers and different things. And so I kind of feel like the slow process is sort of uh to to get to Nico Loretto is it, just sort of par for the course a little bit as you guys have kind of found your way of uh, would you agree? Yeah, I think so. We've made a lot of mistakes, like everything else in my life. Just the, follow the trail of mistakes and 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 get to the present. But really excited to, you know, we started out testing a few songs, um, and frankly, I wasn't getting the the reaction I wanted um, from you know interaction and crowd and feedback. And um, you know, my dream vision for this is to look out and see a bunch of people shaking their butts and having a good time. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I just don't think that as a two piece, we're able to capture that energy. Uh, I also don't think that some of the earlier songs had the right tempos and maybe some of the right feels. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes into this. It's a bit of a chemistry experiment, but uh, we're excited on what we've landed on, which we set out to make a dark dance record. And so far, that's been uh, it's been really well received. And of course, adding the dancers, you know, this was a really common thing. 20, 30 years ago, right? Putting on sure. big performances and things like that. And so we really leaned into having fun with image, having fun with movement, having fun with creating the songs. And, and ultimately all of that comes through in the live show to where everyone is not, not only having a great time enjoying the music, but also feeling some sort of emotional connection. I mean, that's really what we're shooting for. And um, we have been shooting for it from the start. It's just, at the beginning, um, I don't know, just like I said, made a lot of mistakes. I think. Yeah, it, it takes some time to find the, uh, it's a process, you know, it's a, it's a process. It's a process, as they as they say. Uh, so, I mean, once the album is out here in, in just a little over a week now, um, unless anyone is seeing this next week, in which case it's out again on Feb 16th. But, uh, <laughs> you know, once it's out, like, are you immediately on to the next thing you feel like? Or are you going to kind of, you know, ruminate in it a bit? Yeah, so we are kind of already starting to work on what's next. Um, we've done a few covers, and, and our takes on covers is usually how can we make it like us, Sure. right? So when I one of the first visions I had for the band when it started out is like, what would Madonna's Borderline sound like if it were covered by Nine Inch Nails? It had an edge to it, right? And it was, it was kind of industrial. So, you know, we obviously didn't live up to either of those amazing artists but you know some of the covers we've done like heart of glass borderline that's entertainment um i think we want to continue that theme and we're going to do uh three or four more 
Uh, cool. We're currently working on a remix. I think I could say this of, of Swiss Banks Make It Work. Uh, nice. So to be something 140 down to about 108 beats per minute. Um, some of these will be covers and some of these will be remixes. But the thought is to take the two or three covers we already have, combine that with two or three new ones, and then release an EP probably in the next six to 10 months called Mirrors. And that would be just our fun kind of homage, if you will, that fun kind of way for us to show some of the people that we really like, um, that 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 uh, that we think they're cool and we and we had a vision for their own song. So some of these will be remixes, some of these will be covers. Some of them will be big national artists, and then some of them are going to focus on the local scene as well. So oh. um, that, that's kind of the plan. And then uh, during that time, I was going to use that time to try and find a new vision and a new concept for what happens after that. Yeah, I'm just you're going to keep working. <laughs> Essentially, it's good. Uh, I wouldn't call it working, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the show. Uh, I mean, obviously. You guys are going to blow it out uh, and it'll be a blast. In fact, the last time I saw you, it was at the Parish at a Swiss Banks show that was a homegrown. Uh, it was their album release show uh, late last summer, I think. Um, so obviously you guys play well in that room. But uh, tell me about the support acts on this. Two great ones, uh, Sex Pop and Dream to Dream. Yeah, so Dream to Dream, we played some shows with before. I think they're the most underrated band in town. I'm really big fan of what they do, um, the music they make. And the people they are, they're they're exceptional human beings, and we really love them. And then Sex Pop has been on my radar for a minute. Um, I had been uh, recommended to reach out to one of the members by, by a mutual friend that's in the audio engineering space and just hadn't done it yet. And this seemed to be a good moment to do that. Um, we like the vibe that they're throwing out of kind of throwing a little indie funk, kind of indie indie pop music out there and again i feel like uh between the three bands all of them have a, a common theme of playing songs and tempos that are danceable that that put an emphasis on you know movement and having fun so we're really hoping that we uh look out into the crowd and everyone shows up and everyone has the best time of their life it is definitely going to be a very danceable show so if you want to shake it move around you should come and hang out with us again Saturday, Feb 17th at the Parish. It's Candy Riot's album release show, the new album, Nico Loretto, Sex Pop, Dream to Dream on the Bill. Get all the details you need at 101x.com. Otherwise, that's it, really. Bobby, I'll see you very soon and we'll have a good time. Sounds great. Well, thank you for <laughs> you done for his job. Thanks for joining me. I'll, I'll see you, well, at the Parish. <laughs>